Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. It's, Monday morning. It's Monday morning. Um, we did go to some estate sales yesterday and picked up some things. We're gonna um, we're pulling orders this morning because we have like 32 items I think going out. No, it's 34 or five. So, well, uh, it's more than that. It's 34 on eBay and then two on Etsy. Yeah, a couple of crackers on Etsy. Yep. So um, we really need to get started pulling orders. But um, after we do that, we're going to show y'all what we picked up yesterday. Yeah, we picked up even more stuff. It was a good sourcing weekend. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's a nice little last push right before Christmas. And I am meeting someone tonight for um, a Facebook Marketplace buy. We, we are. Yeah, well, we, yes, because it's going to be at night and yeah. And a, and a gentleman. A gentleman in the night. Probably even if it weren't a gentleman. It, right, it wouldn't matter. At night time, Lonnie would always go with me. I pretty much always go with her anyway. Right, so. unless there's something going on. All right, you ready to get started? Let's go. Okay. Tiger drawer. We have um, a measuring tape. Okay. This is a Lufkin for Sawyer drilling. All right. It's in a little silver box. It's probably this. I'll verify there. It sold for $16.99. Sawyer Drilling and Service Incorporated, Shreveport, Louisiana. Got it. I was kind of poo-pooing the little measuring tapes, and I was most of them I was able to list individually, especially the advertising ones, but even a couple that were just plain. Did you go through them all? I think I may have a couple more in the bag, but yeah, I did. There's a few I had to pull aside to go into our drunk drawer a lot. Not I, <laughs> okay, I killed that clip. Candace said right after I stopped, I didn't stop it because of this, but right after that, I was like. Did you just say drunk drawer? And she did. said, yes, I did. I did. <laughs> I, and you know, it's funny because I always, you know, I slip up with saying stuff like that all the time. But one time I actually put it in a title. Do you drunk remember drawer. that? Yeah. A viewer let me know. <laughs> all right, pocket 76 Scottish, Scottish thistle charm. Thistle? We got a Scottish thistle. Is there anything more fun to say than thistle? I'm not saying it right. <laughs> I know, that's what makes it fun. $66.99. Yeah, this little guy. That one's 19, 19, 9 karat gold, 1.9 grams. Yeah, and it's got that stone in it. That's a cool looking charm there. It, it really is. It's nice looking. Eight Charlie Joker Lego alarm clock. Eight Charlie right. Eight Charlie's always on the right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joker. This guy. He sold for $24.99. A um, lot of five manga comic books, Pokemon, six Charlie. Yeah, I think I took an offer on these or something. Yeah, I did. You must have because it's $15 even. Yeah, which is, that's good. How many is it? Five. Oh, I thought you said six. I may have. Okay. It's on six Charlie, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe I'm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do have five books here. Two Echo Nike Air Jordan Flight Runner 3 shoes. Two Echo move these computer parts well in my boxes yeah. uh hopefully it's these they're black with light blue on the back bottom yeah this is them here right yep 40 dollars for those boy we did so well on those shoes yeah we did we really did because we only paid like two or three dollars a pair i uh -huh. think it was two yeah and they were they were in great condition yeah they were in good condition not not like mint or anything yeah, but they, they were yeah um, we sold a Danbury Mint Duck Decoy, 10 Bravo Dash D. 10 Bravo Dash D. That's right, I have this. It's okay, I can put this over okay. here. You know what? Careful with that box because they're all they're all bubble wrapped in there. Alright, D. Green winged. D is green winged teal. Yep. Okay. Sold that for fifteen. I don't. Oh, we got those from Kevin and Danielle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Remember that. Let me go put this back up. We sold another charm. Uh, twenty-eight pocket. Pocket, pocket twenty-eight. <laughs> twenty-eight pocket. Okay. Okay. Reverse talker. <laughs> um, twenty-eight pocket. This is the Alaska totem pole. Oh uh, yeah, that's the one. I uh, just uh, I just saw this one yesterday because I was editing that video where you tested it. Yep, ten uh, carats on that, two point two five grams, sold for eighty nine ninety nine. Alrighty, 
I get is that going to be one of your main pushes today or are those yeah i need to get some more of those listed yeah tested and listed and i forgot to get gloves i need to buy some more gloves yeah um one charlie we saw it, a teacher nutcracker 11 inch nutcracker yeah this lady apparently one of her students just gave her an apple happy about it or shocked, she is depending on what position her crackers in what <laughs> her what? cracker you know her, her cracker oh oh her mouth oh wait that, actually it's not her mouth it's her chest opening oh okay <laughs> even weirder mm -hmm. <laughs> she's over 60 okay we saw some racing stickers they're up there that's right d17 Oh, this one. Those sold for $14.99. This buy. I forget how much. It's the buy that keeps on giving. It, it is. I love these kind of buys where you just. That's how the Walmart pens were for a while. Yeah. You just keep on pulling and just keeps on. Yep. Keeps on growing money for you. item is one of those great courses the vikings oh no no oh it is that's right i did sell it single okay i'm sorry <laughs> sorry about that it's on eight bravo okay y'all will see why i said something just a just a bit but no candace is absolutely right we sold the vikings on eight bravo great courses we paid uh ten dollars for a stack of Mm -hmm. five great courses yeah uh, those right sale. there sold for $19.99 so All money right. back there and the rest is profit yes We're, well that's already in some some amount of profit a little bit anyway yeah um we have a wonder woman chase card for bravo dash b131 for bravo it's going to be this box here i think this might be a little bit of a mess in here uh, X, no, this side's not too bad actually. You said 101? 131. Oh, 131? Okay. Yeah, it's like a holographic. Yep, holographic okay. Wonder Woman. Got it. Um, $5.99. Alrighty. Put this back. I think we'll pull. I'll pull one more item. Yeah, we'll pull one more and then we'll do another round. Alrighty, um, in the razor drawer, we have a chess set from that um, piece. chess set of the gods. Yeah, chess set piece. Um, the Black King Jupiter. Black King Jupiter. I got him right here. Yep. He sold for $24.99. So we've sold, um, paid $100 for this set. Mm -hmm. And so far, we've sold two pieces. Yeah. Once we sell them all, we're going to make like $500 or so, but right. it's it's, it's it's going to take... It's a slow seller. Yep. It is. Yep. It is. All right. You want to get that stuff packed? Yep. Uh, let me get this packed, and we'll do another round. All right. I was about to pack my first item, which is this tape measure here. Sawyer, whatever it was called. Yep. Um, and I did a quick search of the username to make sure I didn't have anything else going out. Sure enough... She bought another measuring tape. The, it was the very last thing on the orders it was the first thing chronologically that i was going to pack and then also the last thing so i want to make sure i put those together so i can refund shipping on one of them okay it's in the beverly drawer it's another lufkin um tape measure for denali services alaska this is my favorite one and you know um i know you asked me about that shape yeah um they actually had there's a bunch of like it's not just this that's one. a that's, standard shape that's right? a shape they had mm -hmm. yeah all right nineteen dollars and 99 cents all right and that'll go with that and look they're in the same box too yep. well pretty much there's a little different logo yeah. all right now i'll get the stuff packed all right this is what brown boxes look like after they've been packed <laughs> you ready to do another round i am all right we're ready for the next round seven delta uh store display for some razor blades seven delta yep i thought they were those were all in the uh it's a little box. Box. Yeah. 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 The brand is 
trying to all right i had trouble finding it so canada's got it for me i think you were looking for something bigger huh i don't know all right that's all for 40. okay yeah it's full of razor blades by the way yeah it's full of uh 20 boxes with five blades in each box sealed oh they're all oh, they're all in like cellophane or yeah. whatever that's mm -hmm. cool that's a cool little piece there yep in the cube i don't know what this is or where it came from uh -huh. it's a paperweight sertoma 50th anniversary it's probably a uh questionable estate sale by i don't even know when we got that either that or it was a kevin and danielle thing I don't yeah know. nine dollars for that okay good i'm glad to sell it i remember seeing it not too long ago. i was like man are we ever going to sell that <laughs> um in the cube we sold a cube a Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah. You just listed that yesterday, huh? Uh, Day before, yeah. Okay. $29.99 for that one. Our third Rubik's Cube we've sold. Sealed original Rubik's Cube we've sold this year. Yeah, and they uh, sell fast. 1980 is when this was made. Yeah. Um, in the small drawer, we have a three horror pin backs. Jaws Amityville at Leprechaun. A lot there for eleven dollars and twenty four cents. Uh waxoffdesign.com is the name of the company by the way. Wax on or wax off? It says wax off. <laughs> one of them is Leprechaun, you said? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is it. I see a one of the houses or I whatever. I wonder if their first item they made was for Karate Kid and that's where they got their name. Um we have a lot of four well, the next two items are in the same order. They're comic book sales. A lot of four Hulk and a lot of five Hulk. They're both one Charlie, Z6 and Z13. Okay. Are they going to the same person? Yes. Huh? Yes. Z6 and Z13? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have Z6 here. And you said Z13. Correct. Go back a bit. Oh. We do have a lot of lots in here. Which, that is typically the way I like to sell comics. Because let's be honest, most, most comics are not worth, it's just like everything else. Most comics are not worth a ton. Okay, so the lot of four sold for $14.99. Okay. And then a lot of five sold for $24.99. And look, these are thick, y'all. See that? They, they actually have a, a book. Like a, oh, it's like a little book almost. Yeah, almost. I think it's still a comic. I think. Okay. Or maybe like a miniature um, I, omnibus. I don't remember if they had ads or not. Yeah. All right, we have a Turbis Cup 8 Charlie. It's got an elephant on it. Elephant Turvis. Turvis are uh, Turvis are one of those things where you know if you want to sell them that you can make a little money on them, and if you don't want to, it, you don't make so much money on them that it's a big deal. Yep, um, we sold that one for eleven dollars and twenty-four cents. Okay, look, this originally sold for thirty-five dollars. Yeah, the price tag. I like that one. That's like a water bottle. So some sell for more than others. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this was a good little nutcracker sale. Ten Delta. It's a little mini six inch in a wooden box. Yeah, we had a few like this. Man, I would have loved. Is it Scottish Santa? Yes. Okay. Uh, man, what if we could have gotten all the nutcrackers just, just like this? Like that. And that sells for ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents for uh, that one. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and if y'all are interested, I'm gonna put a little more bubble wrap in there um we did count last night and i don't know if we have more if we've sold more since we counted or not i don't think we did i don't i don't know we counted day before yesterday and i don't remember i don't know <laughs> but we had anyways uh what i was going to tell you is we had like 48 left at that point yeah so we've sold over 75 percent of the nutcrackers yes yeah Okay, we have another Nutcracker going out. Um, five Charlie Wright. It's a red jester. Five Charlie Wright. Five Charlie Wright. Oh, is that <laughs> why you keep saying that? 
I was like, man. We, Unless she got moved, you may know something I don't know. I was like, what's wrong with her? She keeps repeating herself. Oh, you put a snake up here. Well, this is definitely a jester. He sold for $54. Okay. I like him. Yeah, I do too. We you want to keep them? I can cancel it. Nah, okay. We, I did keep one. I don't know. Remember the sailor that looked like my dad? Yeah. I ended up keeping that one. Oh, uh, okay. It's sitting on the shelf over there, but it's not listed. Um, we sold a kingfish hat. No, you, no, you said it wrong. Huh? Sold a hat. I did. You weren't listening. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, and I didn't want to repeat myself. <laughs> we sold a kingfish hat. Um, that was a hockey team that we had here in Baton Rouge. I see it. And I have a feeling the reason it sold is because we now have, that's defunct. We now have a new hockey team that started this right. year. Right, and I, I was thinking that too. It's actually going to the little town we live in. I was thinking that too, uh, that it would be cool to wear this to the, to the new games. I have a Kingfish hat somewhere. What are they called, the new team? Zydeco or something? Yeah. Which is a New Orleans thing more? Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get it either. I guess they're just supposed to be representing the whole state. I know, but man. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bad name. That's all for 15. Okay. We yeah. do need to go check out the new team, I guess. Yeah, I want to go watch a game. Okay, this next item is that lot of four great courses that you um, put together for somebody. Yeah, oh man, they're everywhere. Oh, You're going to have to go to Ended to find out where each one of them are. Because I made a new listing and I didn't put location because I spread them all out in the, shell, the shed. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to have to go on a quest to find all four. It's like okay. on RuneScape. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, by the way, this Kingfish hat... Uh, oh no, it wasn't signed, but it has this human guy. There was something with him. He got in like a, he was either real sick or got in a car wreck or something. Remember that? Yeah. This human guy. He was a good player too. I don't remember the details. I don't either. It's been a long time ago. All right. I have those great courses pulled up if you're okay. ready. Okay. Well, uh, good. I'm Let's assuming go. it's the last four that ended, right? Yeah. Okay. Seven Charlie, ancient Greek civilization. Seven Charlie. What happened with these great courses? Got it. Eight Charlie, Rome and the Barbarian. Eight Charlie. What happened with these? Got it. Over on this side. Three Charlie, the history of ancient Rome. Okay, I guess I'll tell my story in a minute because I keep trying to fit it in and I'm like, nope. History of ancient Rome, got it. Six Charlie, foundation of Western civilization. Man, I did a full shed tour. I know. Okay. All right. So uh, we were selling these for twenty a piece. Had someone message me asked uh, if I would cut a deal on all four. We ended up on sixty plus ship. Yep. And uh, yeah, well, y'all see, they're all. So we got ten dollars in, sixty plus twenty for the other ones that are already packed. Yep. That's ten in, eighty out. For quick listers, I'm happy with that. And we still have some left listers. No, we don't. Oh, that's it? That's it. Finished? Okay. Sold them all. Cool. All right, we have a reel going out. 10 Alpha, Zorba, the Greek soundtrack. All righty. Still have these books in here. These are like, you know what I just realized? These are like westerns. But they're romances too. You see how they have the little yeah. image? The kissy image. Okay. You said Zorba something. Zorba That'll be the Greek soundtrack. It's white. I got it. Um, this guy right here. Yes. That girl right there. Eleven dollars and twenty-four cents. All right, let's pull one more thing this round. Okay. Comic lot fifty-one. One right here. Got it? I got it. That sold for $30 plus shipping. Okay. All right. And these are, I pretty much pre packed these and then I just have to put a, uh, actually, I do pre pack them. If I, I could just sneak my thank you card and sticker in right here and then tape. Yeah. Because it is ready to roll. I'm going to get this stuff packed. We'll be back. Alrighty, all that stuff is packed up. Uh, let's do one more round for eBay, and then we're going to have to do a round for Etsy, Etsy or Mac I don't no Macari. No Macari today. It's okay. All Etsy. Yep. Okay, so um, the next two 
Items are two separate buyers, two separate sets of car mats. No, man, that was, that's <laughs> big time. I wish we wouldn't even mention that on a video. Well, I'm not really. We mention everything on a video. We always have. But man, talk about a big time bolo. Now, we did see car mats on Saturday. Yeah, they were. Um, and they were in poor condition. Yeah. Or not in poor condition. They were just used, clearly used. Yeah. I'm not buying those. No. I don't want to mess around Usually with that. people are buying them to replace their used ones. Or, right, yeah. right. Like The only ones I buy are ones that once, like either they're brand new or. Sounds like where you could vacuum and get them clean. Right, and make them look brand new. Yeah, no like wear to them. Nope. Yeah. Um, so the first set is 9 Alpha. They're Dodge Ram Crew Cab. Yeah, I, that that's the one I had. Nine Alpha. That's the one I had two sets of. Just like this, Dodge Ram 2019 to 2022. Okay. And the other one is Ford Delta GM Tahoe, Chevrolet Tahoe. Ford Delta. Um, oh, where am I going? Four, I'm going to Ford Delta. Okay. I just put them in this box. All right, I have Ford Explorer there. And then I have Suburban here, 2021 to 23. And that is the one. I mean, if it's Tahoe, Suburban, yeah. a few other things. Okay. So the Dodge Ram sold for $64.99. Okay. And the uh, GM floor mat sold for forty four ninety nine. So we've sold, I think, three of the five now. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, we bought no four. We have, we have we have four sets. Yes. So we sold three out of four. So the yep. only one we have left are the Explorer. Yep. Okay. Nine Delta Build a Bear Batman Bear. Build a Bear Batman Bear. Batman Bear. Nine Delta. Yeah. It might be right here. And it is. Yes. I think I took an offer on this. They've been listed for a long time. So. Yeah. $18.25 for that. Okay. In the bolo drawer, Sheriff Harry Lee bobblehead. The Chinese Cajun cowboy. Yeah, he was... I don't remember the whole story with that guy, but he was the sheriff of Jefferson Parish. But he was like some kind of tough guy or something, right? He was. Everybody loved him. Like he would go. Um, well, he wore big cowboy hats, and they said he liked to shoot from the hip. I, I think he, they don't mean but with a gun. <laughs> I don't know. And he would go with like his his um, employees and shoot nutri rats. Like he was just. He was a cowboy kind of guy. He's a good old boy. Okay. I, don't, I really don't know anything. I don't have an opinion. I don't know him. $14.99. I think he's dead, though. Yeah, he did. He passed away. Okay. I did a little reading on him this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, six Charlie. Uh, some manga. Looks like two books. Um, Tayo Matsumoto. Wait, why are you... Wait, why did you change the, your, your accent for I that? I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay, where, it's some what? Six what? Charlie. Six Charlie. Tayo Matsumoto. Oh, man, she did it again. Volume one and two. You can't help number yourself. Five. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it's actually called number five, huh? Yeah, that's the name of the book, and we have volume one and two. Um, $20.69. Okay, one and two. Good. All right, well, um, it's actually on six alpha. We had to go just find it. We sold that third bookshelf game, uh, Third Reich, Rise and Fall of Third Reich. Yeah, we bought this is we bought three bookshelf games on the five, same. Five dollars each. Six dollars each. Six dollars each. Because <laughs> uh, it was forty percent off. Not right, we bought a forty percent off on Sunday on at an estate. Some estate sales do forty percent. I cannot stand that. Yeah, I mean. Oh, uh, they just. I get. I mean, they're just trying to squeeze. Mm -hmm. Oh, they won't notice. I notice. Yeah. It makes a difference. Especially when you buy a lot of stuff. Right. It really makes a difference. So that one sold for $44.89. Yep. And uh, the other ones, so the final tally on that, we bought three of them for $18 total. 
One sold for, we'll call this 45, uh, 50, 45, 45. So we ended up with $140 in sales out of that. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yep. Very good. Seven Bravo. Um, we saw a Remington statue. The okay. Cheyenne. What's the name of it? Yeah, these are, man, we've had these for a while. And I mean, I, I guess I was really excited about buying them when we bought them. And then, I don't know, I guess this goes with him. I'm going to have to take a look. Yeah, he's got like a spear. Oh, uh, okay. That must yeah. be a spear that's taped yeah. to him. Um, we paid, I want to say, we pay like 20 bucks a pop for these that or something. That right, yeah. And we've sold, this might be like the third or fourth one we've sold. We've yeah. still got a few more around here. Very slow sellers. There's they, so many, there's so many reproduction statue figures of that right. series. There's just so much out there. I mean, I, I'm still glad we bought them because we're making, we're still yeah. making good profit, but it's just, I don't know. That one sold for 75. Yeah, I took an offer. Um, six ago, we sold one of the paperweights we picked up on um, Friday. It's the one with the bats. Where is it? Six Echo. Yep, we listed that and this. And we actually, there was actually quite a few comps for this. $34.99. Okay, all that stuff is packed there. And then I have a little pile over here. I need to put out and then we have two more crackers two crackers on etsy the first one is five charlie left it's king neptune imagine it will be this uh blue guy with the trident yeah greenish blue uh, he sold for 74 dollars and 99 cents i would really call that like aquamarine or something yeah it's probably the color and then the other one is 10 Charlie. It's a bomber pilot. He's holding a little airplane. 10 Charlie bomber pilot? I don't remember that. I think he's over that way. Mm -hmm. I'm just surprised. I see him. He's on this shelf. He's in the back. I see him. Over here. Okay. Give me a hold one. Here, I got it. Oh, Juliet. Here, here you go. I got it. Oh, he's holding a. Uh, it's holding an airplane. Propeller. Is it, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You hold that. I'll grab him. Ah, I'm going in. I'm going in. So he sold for seventy nine ninety nine plus shipping. Okay, and that's a Steinbeck. Boy, that's a that looks like a pretty pretty good one for eighty bucks, huh? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get these two two fellas packed here, and that'll be it. And then we can look at some stuff we picked up just S yesterday. Saturday afternoon and Sunday. Yep. Okay. Okay, packages are away. That was quite a packing day, Candace. It was. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I like it too. I hope I have plenty more of those. Yep. And I said yesterday, it was Sunday, and I was like, we sourced so much, and but I should have, we should have pulled like 10 orders. Yeah, we should have yesterday. We were so tired though. I mean, three days of just nonstop. We were both exhausted uh, yesterday afternoon. So I really we just, was. We just decided to relax. So yeah, um, paid for, I paid for it today though. Yeah. I haven't stopped. I know. <laughs> Um, so we went to seven estate sales and, um, <laughs> which is absurd. And I know a few videos ago, I told you there was like 10 or 11, but we hit some of them on Friday and Saturday because the ones that are, the ones that are family run, we don't wait until Sunday to go no. to, we go ahead and go to them. Um, so then the ones we went to on Sunday were all run by companies. Um, these are Tory Birch and they look brand new to me paid four dollars for them they have the box so um any idea what the value is i do not i, I mean i've even i've heard of tory birch before yeah. i don't know if you can sell them as new or not but no i'm not gonna sell them as new but they no they, they're in fantastic condition they are new yeah. somebody that bu buys them will they'll be able to represent them as new when they're wearing them yeah nobody's gonna say hey, look at those used shoes 
And I think the bottom is like that because I say estate sale, and it technically was. It was um, a woman, and she had it, I think it was at her house, but she had everything out in the driveway. I think it was like a estate sale leftovers. Mm. Um, and so I think it's like that from people just trying them on out in her driveway. Because, um, look, that's rubbing right off. Yeah, there's no... Uh, yeah, you can still feel the emblem on there. Right, but the, the emblems would be worn off if somebody had worn them in the amount. Right. Um, this jacket is so cool, this vintage jacket. I love the look of it. Like, Man, it's so acid washed. It is so acid washed. It's so cool. It's got it's got all the rib detailing. Uh -huh. Um, I paid seven fifty for it. I, I think it's only worth about thirty, but I couldn't leave it. It's just, it's such a cool look. East West, made in Hong Kong. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Somebody will buy that. Oh yeah, I actually found a comp, so that's where I'm getting thirty dollars from now. I'm gonna look a little bit more. Maybe they didn't ask enough. Is that acid wash kind of coming back a little? It is, huh? I have some jeans that are almost like that. Yeah. Really, right now, anything goes. There's not like anything in style. Pretty much anything goes right now. I, well, are t-shirts and jeans and shorts still okay? And flip-flops? T-shirt and sweatpants and flip-flops? I'm not no. wearing sweatpants. I'm wearing jeans. Well, usually you're not. <laughs> I was wearing... Well, I'll, honest, to be honest, I was wearing sweatpants this morning. I knew it was too warm to keep them on. Yeah, so. we had a little hot front come in. <laughs> yeah. A little hot front. <laughs> uh, they usually call it warm front. Uh, right, isn't that what they call it? In Louisiana, it's a hot front. Hot front, okay. <laughs> uh, Peter Rabbit Nursery said, I'm not going to take it out, but it, it's never, you can tell it's never been removed from the inner styrofoam. It's a cup, it's a it's a nursery baby set. It's a cup, a plate, and a bowl. It's by Wedgwood, New England. Okay. I paid $3 for it. And Where'd you get that? You... The estate sale with the hair conditioner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Um, yeah, I paid $3 for it, and I think it'll sell for about 30 All right. Uh, same sale. Same sale. This is a Black & Decker Auto Tape. I've seen these sell for, like, new for, like, $25 to $30. <laughs> those, I know. The batteries, it does have like, batteries, but the batteries, as leak. you can see, yeah. they are destroyed in there. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. Yeah, because, luckily, they weren't in the mm -mm. device. They were separate. Nope, they were separate as they should be. And gravit. And the other thing I'm glad is that the because they're on the bottom, it's not like they any of the stuff could have leaked down into the product. Right. So it kind of worked out. Yeah. Uh, man, they only charged me like two dollars for that thing, right? And yeah, they had they had a they had good prices on their garage, like the tools in the garage. It was like big little. This is the price of big little. It didn't matter what it was. Yeah. So um, yeah, I wish we could have got there before it was picked over. And then I picked that up. Comps are all over the place. It's a Dremel shoe polisher. I didn't test it. It looks like it's not been used. Or can uh, you take these things off and wash them or something? Thank you. Yeah, you sure you could take them off and wash them or replace them or like whatever you need to do. Groovy, glittery uh, logo mm -hmm. here. And it's a Dremel brand. I figured it was. Oh, oh it it's works. on. Man, it's, it runs smooth too. Yeah. I dare you to put your tongue on there doesn't hurt at all. Man, we could really polish some stuff up with that, huh? We need to try out Molly's boots, huh? Or maybe some of your gold. They go, they, you would drop would your fly. gold and you would... <laughs> <shoo. laughs> We'd never see it again. Man, that sucker run, does run Man, smooth. that's kind of like fun, putting your hands on there. I know, I like it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, the, it's like petting a cat, but the cat's petting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's your quote. It's like petting a cat. But the cat's petting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you paid six for it? Paid six dollars. And I saw comps all the way up to 50. I saw lesser comps too. Okay. Uh, but yeah, now that it's running, I'm very glad I got it. Yeah. Okay, the state sale with the crazy collections on Friday that we went to. Um, we went back Saturday afternoon because after three, they after four, they were marking everything down to 50%. Right. So Lonnie went digging through the box and found some cassettes that I missed. Yeah, um, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be huge money, but it's definitely worth picking up. And she was only charging 50 cents a tape, so paid a quarter a tape here. Mm -hmm. uh, these Three of these Fuji High Bias DR2 tapes seal, sealed. Uh, this is a BASF Chrome Extra 2. And then this is the coolest one here, this Digitech 
DT260 and check it out. The, it looks almost like a reel to reel. There's little reels, metal reels inside of that cassette tape. I've never seen a tape like that. Oh, oh look, it has a little atomic symbol in there, Candace. On one of the reels, it has a little red atomic symbol right there. Oh, See yeah. it? Hmm. So um, these have actually, I actually saw some solds for this tape right here in two packs. I saw somebody sold two for 60 and somebody else sold two for 50. So if I can get 20 to 25 for this by itself, you know. You might to get 30. Maybe so, yeah. If somebody got two for 60. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you know what though? I think a lot of times people prefer to buy more tapes mm -hmm. when it, because they're gonna pay a shipping charge. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wish I had more of that, but yeah, this is, I don't know. That's probably another 25, well, that's probably, no, with this tape, we're looking at at least fifty dollars right here in this Those little tapes stack. Those were a gold mine. You got them all listed. The ones we picked up Friday, huh? Yeah, I got them all listed. Yeah. Uh, did have somebody reach out? We had that's one lot of them I listed for fifty bucks. One one person reached out offering forty five for that. I should probably take that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What else you got? What you got? Um. This is a harness racing game. I'm not exactly sure how it works. It looks like maybe just magnetic or just weight no yeah that's just weight and look it has like this thing yeah the that brings them up yeah. and then gravity brings them down and they race um so it i think i can get about 60 for it and it was half off it we paid 12.50 so um i mean they had a they had a ton of cheap toys like that yeah like the cheap toys from back then like this see look, all this is branded this is like a woolworth thing yeah. see and like the little mechanical little animals that walked right. and the little fur, furry animals mm -hmm. that walked and just all kind of stuff like that but I, I went through and comped every single one um and this is what i ended up getting um and then also this was the same price um 12.50 this is this was it's in the styrofoam but it was sealed with tape around we did cut the tape um just to open and make sure like there was no peeling paint on the building or, or bugs or yeah or whatever because from what we heard a lot of stuff was stored up in the attic right um, it looked perfect um should be able to get about 50 for this yep that thing's kind of cool it is it's got the little separate truck and sign too it's three pieces oh okay um lonnie found these on a wall outside he pulled them off the wall i think she only charged a couple of dollars for yeah, them she didn't charge much i think maybe three dollars like the stuff in the boxes man she she was she, she, she went, treasured that she went hard on that yeah it, i mean i was leery to buy any of the battery operated stuff just because of the condition and how it's been stored but like i told candace um since this whole set has value if it doesn't work which there's a really good chance it won't honestly uh we can always part it out especially with these little horses you know people have this set and are missing horses and stuff i did pull out this part here i forgot to mention that to check for corrosion and it's missing the battery cover mm -hmm. but it was clean inside so okay uh, i think Although i think the battery cover see how this leg thing is coming in oh oh it's, it's attached to that then if we have that i don't even you know i, I didn't inventory it or anything it looked like it was it really looked like they they just kind of maybe messed with it a little bit and put it up or maybe never played with it at all yeah so uh, no. is this it right here look this no where is that part well that's a that oh uh, that might be what we're it's seeing like that yeah it's definitely not a, no, it's, like that. it's not a battery cover so yeah we're missing the battery cover the battery cover goes on no that's a it counter. goes on the bottom of this big part here okay this when we pull it all out maybe we'll find it or I'll something show you real quick. yeah but you can see there's no issues in the battery compartment let me see it candace the way this is mm -hmm. right here you see how this is uh-huh I think it potentially is one of these things that slots into that. Oh, this just goes there. Oh, it holds the battery on. That's the shape of the mm -hmm. battery. Okay. Right. Okay, we're good then. Yeah, I okay. think we are. Okay, I think we cool. are good. Y'all can see it does have these uh, little slots. No, the rubber um, uh, conveyor belt things. Do they feel okay? Like that? Eh, I'm not sure. You don't really know until you start running it. But they had some really cool, a bunch of like roller plastic roller coasters, like a Santa one that was worth money. And I pulled it out and the rubber belt was just disintegrated. It's so, not obvious to me that this one is. Yeah. But it could be. You won't, 
you don't really know it might be too we'll see when we try and run it yep and yeah we saw that we have uh marvin the martian and this is actually it's from 96 and look it's actually little stained glass things yeah they are stained glass um and then taz uh, yep tasmanian devil on a heart yeah <laughs> those are neat mm -hmm. Um, picked up another paperweight. I don't think this one is super valuable either. It's but so cool though. It was just so cool. Um, it's a jellyfish. I don't know. If you know what that feel. needs? It needs like a light under it, mm -hmm. shining up. You can buy little pedestal things with light shining up. But yeah, I, look at it. I really like it. I do too. This thing is, man. Look at the little tendrils coming off I of know, it. Isn't that crazy? That thing is gonna look awesome lit up. Yep. And then um, what well, we ended up paying. Like I think nine bucks for that maybe. That was, yeah, that was one yeah, of the Yeah, they had their ones. paperweights priced by size, small, medium, large, and extra large. I guess that's a large. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't we end up spending like fifty bucks there? Yeah. It was right at fifty, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, a railroad clock. Santa Fe railroad clock. It's yeah. cheap, but it's also new. Like it's yeah. you can see it's still got it's the styrofoam here. And um, they've never even taken this. Mm -hmm. This little the, protector off. Yeah. To protect the hands. So. Yeah. Uh, I did look that up. I think that might be worth like $25 or so. Something like that. JSNY made in Taiwan is yeah. the company. I don't, it, it's not. like It's a cheap little clock movement. But it's still neat looking. I yeah. like it. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right we have uh, one more sale we bought some stuff at. Okay. It is dark, y'all. Because We turned the light out. Because I figured out an easy way to light this thing up. Mm -hmm. You ready, Candace? This thing is awesome. Can, they can't even see me. Why are you pointing? They can see you a little bit. They can kind of see the... Now they can't. Hello. You were kind of lit by the... Uh, look, you're lit. All right. I'm going to show them this jellyfish thing. Y'all. This thing is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. Whoever buys it better get something to light. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I put, I just, all I did, I turned the flashlight on my phone and then set that on top of the flashlight. Holy. Now I want to keep it. <laughs> I know. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Would that be the coolest nightlight ever? No, that's what I'm thinking to put on Molly's desk. That thing is awesome. Yeah. We might keep, I think we might have to keep that. I, I want to keep it. I love it. I, I think it's, I think it's beautiful. I really we'll do see like if I can that. Find a little cheap pedestal. Oh, we, we, a lighted pedestal on Amazon. Well, we see that kind of no, we see that kind of stuff at garage sales all the time, where something's lit from underneath on a little wooden base. We can just buy whatever it is and throw it, toss it, and then put this on top. Man, look at oh, now now look at it. I know. I want to go back and buy them all and just light them up. <laughs> I know, light them up, <laughs> man. Or maybe we just need to find a cheap iPhone and put, keep it plugged in with the flashlight going all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that thing is awesome. Okay, I, I want to preface this next find by saying um, Candace outdid herself on this one. I didn't even know what was going on. They started loading this stuff up. He never even saw them. <laughs> and I didn't even see them. And I'm like, Candace, how much did you pay for, the, for that stuff? She's like, what'd you buy? I said dishes. And she said 87 something. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, I thought she was crazy, but but go ahead, tell your story. Okay, so um, I've ha we've had before. There's dishes out there made for D H Homes, which is a a defunct department store. Um, they were made in Japan, and the plates that are more prominent that you can find, but they're still very rare. It's like this stoneware look with browns, and it has a big crab in the middle. I've actually found one plate before and sold that one plate for twenty five. So, um, I saw these when I was looking at estate sale pictures Friday night. Oh, you already knew. I, I did. I saw those, but I'm like, there's no way they're still going to be there, right? This No, Saturday night when I looked. Um, I said, there's no way they're still going to be there. Walked in this sale. There was like maybe one other person there, and it was our second sale we went to. Um, and the, they were still sitting there in the kitchen. I'm like, what? Why did no one snatch those up? Very, very, very rare pattern. Of, um, it's called the the crawfish. They, some people say crawfish gumbo pattern. It's a gumbo pattern. It's got all the elements for um, gumbo. It's got like a little recipe box. The gumbo. Hey, that box. looks like a little recipe box. <laughs> hang on, let me go get it. Wait, hang on, hang on. 
We haven't listed it yet. We've man, we've got some good cookbooks have, right now too. We have a lot of good stuff right now. We do. Yeah. I'm excited. Like this is if there's ever I can't tell you how many years in the past fourth quarter comes around and Lonnie's sitting there like, I ain't got nothing good to list. Not this year. This year we have done really I well. I need to list that one. I'll list look. those. Yeah, I'll look. Boy, that go right. That go right on right. Look, look. Let me get my gumbo recipe Co out here. Coincidentally, this was made for another department store, uh, Maison Blanche Gotchals. Right. So um anyway, yeah, so this is all this is a gumbo pattern, um, and this is all the components in gumbo. Um I would call it a bolo, but if you don't live around here, uh, we live around here and I never see right, this stuff. Right, right. And if you look on eBay, the, no, there's none active. Right. We went, it was half off day. Um, so they were marked 175. We paid half. And Lonnie was like, What are you doing? He goes, How much are you going to get for these? Am I going to have to ship all these together? <laughs> he was so cranky about I, it. I was not that You cranky. were. <laughs> I wasn't that bad. You were. Well, I was, you know what? I didn't know what you had though. I thought you, I thought you spent like $87 in my head. I'm thinking, okay, she, she probably thought she probably, these are probably worth like $200 and okay. I do not want to make a hundred dollars like that. I want so, <laughs> and the thing about dishes, you can tell which pieces are used the most, just like what flatware forks are the things that usually sell for the most. Cause that's what people need. Um, there's only four plates. There's only eight gumbo bowls. And then there's 12 salad plates. So you could tell they, they didn't break these because they barely used them. Um, so let's break down what we expect to get for these. Okay. I'm not going to sell them as a set. I'm going to do um, sets of four. Yep. And that's it, smart. it works out evenly. I'll have, I'll have one lot of plates, three of the salad plates, and two of the gumbo bowls. Okay. So I have these. We have to go to Terra Peak. There's no 90 day yeah, comps. Nothing. There's no actives, uh, but we if we go to tear which and if you look at the solds, 2022 is the last time these um, plates sold. Right. Mm -hmm. So whenever I, I think I think whenever Candace lists these, I think save searches are gonna alert people and they're gonna sell immediately. Yeah. For whatever Candace lists them for, as long as it's somewhat reasonable. And because they're because they're in so rare and they, there's no actives and it's been this is the last time they were sold. I'm gonna go up a little on these. Oh yeah, hell too. yeah, you should. So um, let's look at these are the dinner plate comps. Um, we've got 120 free ship, 150 free ship. Um, um, they did 85 plus 21 ship, and then um, oh, they, that's that's a, a different mixed. pattern. That, no, that's that other pattern I was With talking about. With the crab in the middle. Yeah. So we only have three dinner plates that were sold in 2022. Three um, listings. Okay. So I'm going to go, um, I think I'm going to do 125 to 150, somewhere up in there. I think you should do 150 plus yeah, ship, yeah, plus shipping. Probably so. Set a new high, high water mark because look, mm -hmm. there's been inflation since then. Yeah. And there's none available. Right. And there has not been any available that, yeah. We and can the tell. person, the person that's going to buy those if, they'll spend 150 just as soon as they spend 125. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 25 to somebody that's in the market for that. The 25 ain't gonna they're not gonna bat an eye at that right so why 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 not why won't you get that extra All and right. then this is for the small plates this is the only comp we see for the small the ones little salad plates and we have 12 of those right um they got 70 plus ship maybe we'll do 80 or 75 we we f we figured 75 mm -hmm. when we did our numbers yeah we have a total um based on these numbers right so we we ba we went uh 75 so that's gonna be three lots of those at 75. so that two and a quarter for mm -hmm. for the small plates and then we have the bowls yeah um, it's a shallow bowl though that's the weird thing it's a soup bowl but people call them a gumbo bowl because it's gumbo but it, it's a soup bowl um, so we have two sets of those. Okay, and I pulled those comps up here. And this. All right, this is. A, that's a price per bowl. Yeah, they got thirty-two plus shipping per bowl. They sold all seven for two hundred twenty-six dollars. Yeah, hmm. that was about a year ago. That's December sixth. No, that oh. was yeah, that was about a year ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not them. We have to go out. I mean, like I said, this stuff is rare. It's very, yeah, it's pretty rare. Here's some more people selling singles, I think. They on got those. 30 plus ship, yep. Somebody did four for 125. Yep. That's probably about where you'll be at, huh? That's what we figured anyway. Yep. Mm -hmm. We figured. And we... I may bump that up a little, you know? Yeah. 
Um, and then again down here, um, they got that was 125 plus ship. Here's 148 free ship. I think maybe you should do 150 yeah. plus ship for yeah. because that's what those are for. That pattern is for gumbo. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Like you said, that small the small plates. That's your look. Here, here's the deal, y'all. If y'all don't, don't know about gumbo, when you eat gumbo or when I eat gumbo, no, I want. It's very common in Louisiana. I, 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 you're always going to have a side plate. You have your bowl of gumbo. And I'm always going to have, if you see me eating gumbo, I'm going to have a little side plate like one of the, like this size. I'm going to have me a little dollop of some homemade um, mashed, pot not potato mashed, salad. Mashed potato. I'm going to have some potato salad homemade, just like my mom makes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have a little piece of French bread next to it. Yeah, a little garlic bread. Yep. Yep. So yeah, um, most people in Louisiana, at least South Louisiana, eat potato salad with their gumbo. I don't know who started that, but it works. You know why it works? Because like you heat it up with the gumbo, and your you mouth, cool and off. then you cool it down. With it's like a, refre a palate, a palate reset. Yeah. It resets your palate. Yep. yep. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so we have two sets of those. So we figured those at um, what did we figure it at? One twenty-five. We, we figured at one twenty-five. I I think. So the numbers we based it at on, um, we based it on getting 225 for something. Oh, we based, we figured 225 for this stack, 250 for that stack. And then, uh, no, I'm sorry, two, 250, no. Wait, let me start over. Two and a quarter, 250, 125, yeah. total of 600. I think it's probably going to be more like a total of 700. 675 to 700. By the time yeah. Candace bumps the prices up for the, uh, I mean, we inflation's been a real, you know, yeah. it's, it's been pretty bad. So we got to pass on pass the inflation <laughs> on to our customers. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, these are really cool. and Good job, Candace. Definitely a bolo for us. And Lonnie's not grumpy about it anymore. I'm not. I, I'm not. I did question. I did think you were crazy because that is a very out of character move for you to spend to price, that yeah. much money on that little bit of stuff. You yeah, know? I, I, I thought I had to think about it because I, whenever I saw that I could get at least a hundred for these four, I knew the rest was profit. So right. I didn't even bother looking the other stuff up. You did it right. Yeah. You, so did, it, you did a good job. That is everything that we bought. Saturday afternoon and Sunday at estate sales. Um, I think tonight I should be meeting someone um, to buy some more stuff. Some more stuff. I hope you, I hope she does because the deal she showed me it's a freaking home run deal and it's yeah. not it shouldn't be far from here. Right. So we will show y'all that next video if we get it. If not, we'll still be here next video. Yeah. Because I, actually we have you to. Get asked whether we get that or not. Right. <laughs> so that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.